Hi, this is John Rosenhead, Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Terror Psychology Post for Pasha Zacharimos is going to discuss the scapegoat. In this week's Pasha, we read about the procedure on Yom Kippur where one goat was chosen La Hashem and one was chosen La Zazel to be the scapegoat. And this was part of the Yom Kippur procedure of Kapara, of atonement for the Bnei Yisrael. And the Gemara in Yuma explains that the these two goats, the Se'ir la Hashem and Se'ir la Zazel, were actually identical. They were the same in every way. And the determining factor of which one would be la Hashem and which would be la Zazel was actually based on a lottery. And Rav Soloveitchik explains, based on this, that this was the procedure of Kapara. And actually, the essence of the Kapara was this lottery, as it was a message to Hashem that, that in the, the world and the life is actually a lottery. And what determines whether a person will be a tzaddik or a rasha, whether a tzaddik will be a rasha or a rasha will be a tzaddik, that a person can change, is actually based on influences that are not fully under a person's control. Life is like a lottery. And therefore, just as the seir can be la Hashem and the other seir can, seir can be la Azazel, so too is our life. A tzaddik being a rasha, a rasha being a tzaddik, is simply based on lottery. And therefore, the message is to Hashem that the Rishayim should not be punished too much by Hashem because it's not fully, it's not necessarily their fault. They're not fully to blame. The fact that they are a Russia at this moment can be seen as being because of the lottery, because of influences that are not fully under their control. And we can adapt this and apply this to mental health, that our mental health is not fully under our control. And a person that is suffering from mental illness, from mental illness might say, why me? How am I different? What did I do to deserve this? But we can take this message and say that our that life, to a certain extent, is a lottery, that our health is not fully under our control. And if this can help us to, certain, to a certain extent accept our situation, to accept the reality that this is what has happened, we are suffering, and not, not because we are to blame, and not because there are, there are certain things that are not fully under our control. We don't fully understand why a, pers- why a person's mind responds in a certain way. We don't fully understand why a brain processes things in a certain way and certainly why one person suffers and why another person doesn't. In fact, in research, in particular in trauma, there can be two people that experience the same traumatic situation and one person can continue and can function in a healthy way and the other person might suffer, might suffer post-traumatic stress disorder. And the message is that Although there's been great advances in mental health, in research, and trying to understand the determining factors and the buffers of what can help a person to be healthy and to not suffer, perhaps not suffer post-traumatic stress disorder, the message is, to a certain extent, life is like a lottery, our health is like a lottery, and there are certain influences, certainly the environment that we live in and, the, and triggers that can make a, our mind respond in a certain way and can lead to a deterioration in mental health. To a certain extent, we have to accept this. We have to accept this reality. And this is part of the intervention, part of the healing process. This idea of acceptance. And this message of the lottery of the Se'ir la Zazel and Se'ir la Hashem is accepting that there is a, a certain passive, this is a certain, there's a, this is a passive process of acceptance. But in psychology, there is actually, there's a, psychological term, which is scapegoat, where a person actually is active in choosing to blame somebody else, choosing a person to be a scapegoat. In particular, in family system, in family therapy, there is a particular family family member, usually the identified patient, the one family member that has the problem. And the family chooses to place all the problems on this individual to say they are the one that has the problem. They are the scapegoat. Because in reality, the problems of this individual is actually a manifestation of the maladaptive state of the family system. And the family prefers to blame, or a person prefers to blame somebody else. They, cho- they prefer to choose, actively choose somebody to be the scapegoat. So the message is, from this Se'il Hashem and Se'il Azazel, is that the, the, it's better to accept. It's better to focus on the passive aspect of this procedure. That ultimately it's down to a lottery rather than trying to be active and trying to choose somebody to blame for our 
for, the, for our problems, blame for our mental illness, and to try to find a scapegoat. So we want to recognize and, and focus on the passive aspect rather than trying to be active and blaming. Have a great Shabbos and keep well.